I used to worry a lot about who I was or where I wanted to be and how I was going to get there. Sometimes I still do. I feel like worry is part of human nature. Stress, anxiety, fight or flight, we're all familiar. At the end of primary school, when I was with my music teacher, Mrs G. She'd asked me what I wanted to be when I was grown up and reassured me that I would go far one day. Perhaps be on stage or write music. She told me whatever I'd do would be great, as long as it made me happy. She really believed in me and I felt so empowered. But that was when the worry started. What will I do now that school is over? And what will I do without Mrs G? Would you like fries with that? No, seriously, that was my life for a while. I became sick, dropped out of school, and lost hope. Nothing seemed to inspire me anymore. What if there was a different path I could take? Mrs G had faith in me, and maybe I did too. I met Lee and Claire, two fantastic theatre makers. And despite my lack of experience and GCSEs and with feelings of inadequacy, I felt safe. I felt I could express my true feelings on stage. And it was fun. I started to see art in everything. I felt passionate about creating. I could create music again. I could even perform. And suddenly my world, my life became colourful. I gained confidence. And sure, I still felt a little worried. I always have. But I was also inspired. Within two years, I'd written two plays. I performed, directed, and created art that I loved and that others seemed to love too. I felt a new sense of belonging. Through art, I found a career, a network, friends, passions, my true self, and a future I can celebrate. So at risk of sounding as cheesy as the burgers I used to serve, the arts helped me fall in love with life again. Being mentored throughout my arts education has left me a richer, happier person. Mrs G, Lee and Claire, and my lecturers at university helped me create the foundations of self-belief that hold me up as an artist and as a person.